You're watching CSTV, award-winning innovation in broadcast television production. Chemathon ultimately has a hand in cleaning anything from dirty clothes to the air we breathe. The company calls Seattle home. It has two areas of expertise, sulfonation and flue gas conditioning systems. Within the sulfonation market, there are three major suppliers, of which Chemathon is the only U.S. manufacturer. Flue gas conditioning is used by the power generating industries to keep our air clean. We'll find out how sulfonation affects our day-to-day -day life as we meet Chemathon on this edition of American Business Spotlight. Profiling American ingenuity, this is American Business Spotlight. I think American business is stronger today than ever before. The name of the game today is customer service. Excuses just don't cut it. American Business Spotlight examines the behind-the-scenes stories that make business in America vital and strong. You have to deliver what you promise. Know what your customers want, even before they know. If you're not prepared to be world class, you might as well shut the door. And now, American Business Spotlight. Chemathon specializes in two areas, sulfonation and flue gas conditioning equipment. Sulfonation makes it possible to wash our clothes or dishes, brush our teeth. It produces a cleaning agent added to detergents, shampoos, and motor oils. This agent reduces tension between dirt and clothes, then allows the dirt to be washed away. Chemathon manufactures the equipment that gets the job done. Patrick Bader, Customer Services Manager. The sulfonates are used in, in common things uh, that you know, people know every day, such as detergents, uh, shampoos, those would be perhaps the most, and other house, household cleaning products, uh, industrial cleaners. Uh, then you get into some areas that are perhaps a little bit uh, more exotic. Uh, they're used as surfactants in things such as um, enhanced oil recovery. Now this is, is an area that's more in an experimental age, er, uh, experimental age right now, but it's to uh, the surfactant properties, they wet out the surface area where the oil is um, lodged in the rocks in the uh, subterranean areas and it causes the, the oil to flow where it wouldn't normally flow. So that's why it's called enhanced oil recovery, but that would be more exotic application. Chemathon also utilizes its engineering skills and fabrication expertise to build metal finishing systems, servicing the electroplating and printed circuit board industries. Jerry Toussaint, Executive Vice President. We provide full service to our customers. We have a laboratory here where we provide analytical service for them so that we can tell them how their solutions are uh, performing and what needs to be added to keep them operating economically. We uh, have complete engineering skills. We do turnkey systems. So we are a full supplier to our industries. Flue gas conditioning is used by the power generating industry. Companies producing power by burning low sulfur coal to reduce acid rain utilize flue gas conditioning to knock out or condition fly ash. Fly ash contributes to air pollution if not conditioned. These technologies have been used, uh, actually, they were developed in the 50s and uh, commercially available. In fact, we pioneered the commercial application in the late 60s for flue gas conditioning. And so we've been building this equipment for over 20 years. But the main emphasis has come a lot more recently because of the tighter uh, and more restrictive uh, clean air uh, regulations that mandate uh, a lessening of the uh, pollutants that go out the stack. And so as a result of this, one option is to switch to a lower sulfur coal. Within the past few years, it's been growing steadily and uh, with the, uh, the new regulations that are, are coming and have been coming along, uh, we see an increased, uh, uh, significantly increased interest in uh, flue gas conditioning as one low cost alternate to uh, complying with the tighter regulations. While the industries, sulfonation and flue gas conditioning are different, the two processes are similar. Chemathon, founded in 1954 by two brothers, Bert and Dick Brooks, specialized in sulfonation equipment for detergent and specialty chemical industries. Bert Brooks was working on his master thesis. It was this concept that turned into commercial reality. The initial process was continual and sulfonated liquid to liquid. 
1958 and 59, a new gas to liquid sulfonation process was developed, producing the same end result. The process went commercial in the early 60s. Today, Chemathon builds sulfonation systems which produce capacities from 45 pounds to 20 tons per hour. The company's flue gas conditioning systems are used on power stations ranging from 50 to 800 megawatt generating capacities. Chemathon's goal is to set equipment and product quality standards for today and the future. It was Burt Brooks' master thesis out of which Chemathon was born and today he is president and chairman of the board of the company. What led you to the discovery or when did the light bulb go off when you knew this process, this thesis, was going to work commercially? My brother and I were co-founders of the company. We weren't anxious to go to work for a big company, say in the east or in the south. We were really looking to do something in the local area. We wanted to live here in the northwest. There are not many jobs for chemical engineers in the Northwest. So we were looking at something that we maybe could do commercially in this area. Now, it, it, we really didn't materialize exactly how the whole thing would develop when I started doing graduate work on detergents. Uh, synthetic detergents were a new thing. They were just uh, on the market right after World War II. Uh, there were a number of things that were just new products out in the chemical fields and uh, so we decided maybe we should look at that. We were building plants all over the world just in a very, very small office. Four of us in this one small design office in a little research facility that was basically in a garage. Where would you find Chemathon sulfonation equipment? We have plants in West Africa, many plants now in the last 10 years uh, in the uh, middle of China. We started out more just for the United States market, I said also Japan, but I think in the last 15 years we have been covering more of the world. Uh, probably we have less than a thousand customers, potential customers all over the world. These customers are not only soap companies, but they're chemical companies, but we find them everywhere. Research and development's task at Chemathon is continually striving for ways to improve the sulfonation process for more effective sulfonates or cleaning agents. Norman Foster, manager of research and development. We basically sell equipment, that's our business, and we package the intellectual ideas, the intellectual property in, into equipment that we can sell to our customers. So their first mission is to uh, get the uh, new equipment developed that our customers are interested in. The second thing we do is we adapt our existing equipment to a customer's needs. For example, they would come in and they would want to uh, know how uh, they could make a specific product. Could our equipment do that? So we would bring their raw materials in, process them through our equipment into final finished product and then we would give that to them for their evaluation to see if it met their specifications. Controlling the entire manufacturing process is important to this company. Chemathon handles the entire production of a sulfonation system from metal fabrication to final assembly. A sulfonation plant begins in engineering. These are the people that design each unit according to customer specifications. Brian MacArthur, engineering manager. We build plants for third world countries, for example, that have to be very simple in construction, uh, able to be operated by people that, that uh, haven't gone to school in, in the traditional sense. Other plants that we build go to the most sophisticated chemical companies uh, in the world, and they're very heavily instrumented and almost completely automatic. So the, the variety and the range of, of form is just about complete. Uh, from a completely automated plant to, to one that's very simple and operated by hand. Once the blueprints for a customer's sulfonation plant are complete, the manufacturing process begins. Marvin Benneke, Manufacturing Manager. Well, what we have in the manufacturing area, we do a machine shop, we have an electrical shop, we build all our control panels, we have the welding shop. This is more of our assembly, final assembly shop. We have another shop for doing the components like vessels, the structural bases, uh, unique items. We do not 
farm out or put, uh, we do most of our work ourselves here. We don't uh, put out too much work to other shops because we keep it under control that way. Chemathon takes a unique approach in building these systems. A plant is built on skids. The result is efficient setup at the customer's facility. Chemathon sends an engineer or technician to monitor the setup. Once assembled, performance trials are run and customer employees trained on operation and maintenance of the sulfonation equipment. The company also maintains a pilot plant at the Seattle facility. This allows customers to conduct tests on new products and determine needs for their own systems. The pilot plant both studies the chemistry, it studies the engineering design behind the equipment. We'll look at the, uh, the chemistry and on the other hand we'll look at uh, the heat transfer, the mass transfer, uh, the reaction kinetics so that when we design a commercial piece of equipment we can scale it up from the small scale to the large scale and have a very high uh, level of confidence that when we go to start that commercial unit, it'll produce exactly what we want. Chemathon is an international player, dealing with companies ranging from multinational businesses to small independent producers worldwide. The company maintains an active research and development program, striving for superior sulfonate quality and flexibility, ultimately providing reliable and efficient sulfonation equipment for its customers. Now joining us is Ken Hohenstein, Vice President of Process Equipment. Internationally, where does Chemathon stand today? Since the early beginnings, we started out domestically in the United States. Um, the product was so good and desirable that uh, immediately we went out and started to develop an international company. That's been a major portion of our growth. Uh, we're presently doing about 60% internationally as opposed to 40% domestically. What have been the keys to the overall company success? Well, first of all, it's uh, finding uh, a marketable product. Uh, our basic claim to fame probably is taking a batch process in a chemical area and developing a continuous process. Uh, but it's truly innovation is probably the key, the main key to our success. And then uh, we feel that treating the customer right. What does the future hold for the company? Well, the corporation's a living organism, uh, and I guess you have to spray the right amount of growth hormone onto that living organism, organism or you'll kill it. And uh, we don't want to do that. We want to have controlled growth, but uh, we see that continued pouring a lot of our revenues back into R&D as, as the future of the company. That is the main key to our future, and we do invest a great deal of our income into R&D, developing new products and uh, joint research with other companies. We've pursued a, a number of avenues and like any other avenue you come up against some blind alleys uh, but we think we have some new developments that uh, we're presently in the process of patenting that uh, will give us a, an entry into a, an area that we have not been into before and we're looking at new areas to enter uh, new mid chemical process uh, manufacturing areas if you will uh, in, in developing some new surfactants that seem to have a great deal of promise for a broad market. Thank you, Ken Hohenstein, Burt Brooks, and a special thanks to the people at Chemathon. Join us for another small business success story on the next American Business Spotlight. This has been a CSTV television production.